Hello, members and friends of OUUC 2032. Happy anniversary and greetings from OUUC 2022. My name is Tim Ransom, and I've had the pleasure of creating these vignettes of current members of the congregation, their thoughts about our past and present, and their hopes and dreams for the future, your time to share with you. This video, these video clips have been assembled as part of our, the preparation for the 70th anniversary of our congregation in Olympia, which occurs this year. They will be shared with the congregation on June 6th, when we will be celebrating both the anniversary and the installation of our called minister, Reverend Mary Gear. Reverend Gear actually came to us in 2019, but her formal installation has been delayed by the COVID pandemic. After the installation, this video will join other materials, including the flags made by members and friends to be flown at the installation, in a time capsule designed to be opened by you in 2032. We hope you enjoy learning about what we, in 2022, thought about ourselves and our mission as a UU congregation, and what our hopes and dreams for your time at OUC and beyond were. Perhaps you'll be inspired to pay it forward by adding your own contents to the time capsule, resealing it, and storing it away for another 10 years. As we say every Sunday, it is good to be together. Hi, I'm Gail Reedy, and I've been a member of OUC for about 30 years. Um, one of the things that I valued a lot when we were newer members was the sense of community and the, particularly as we were parents of young, a young child, that we found families with similar values and similar age children that we were able to group together and raise our children as a village, as they say. I'm hoping we've gone through a period of time that that's not been as true. There have been fewer families with young children here at the church. For the future, I would hope that we would have additional families come into the church and they would find their own community to help them raise their children with. Hello, my name's Otto, Otto Bulls. I've been a member since about 2005. I think OUUC is a very unique liberal uh, religious education, um, religious church, and pardon my stuttering and stammering because I've never done this kind of thing before, but uh, I'll hang in there. Um, I, th I think it's a very unique growth experience for anybody that comes and visits. Uh, I simply suggest you give us a, a tryout, a chance, come visit us and um, go from there. There's a lot of good folks here, lots of support. Uh, you can learn a lot and um, that's pretty much what I have to say right now. So thank you for your time. I was not part of a community for a long time. I had left religion for a number of decades actually. And um, here I have found a community and that's what I was looking for. Um, I had given up looking for a religious community, um, but here I found um, different things welcome, different beliefs welcome, and questions welcomed, and um, everyone welcome. <laughs> and that's what was important to me, is that um, there weren't so many rules and restrictions about what people could and couldn't do. Um, and it's been a good place for me to make some good friends and, and find a really good community. Hi, my name is Josie Solsing, and I joined because I fell in love with another person who belongs to OUUC. And I've started to think about whether, um, now that we are no longer together, whether I can still choose it again for myself. And I'm still in the discernment process, but I'm leaning heavily towards staying in this community. And because I remember when I was seriously depressed, back when Arthur was um, the minister, and he did, gave a sermon about the, the worth and dignity of every person at a time when I was feeling pretty worthless and pretty unlovable. And I remember going out to my car and just dissolving into tears because I didn't believe that. And 
after you know a lot of therapy and a lot of help through that now it's like one of the core principles to me that we say and we believe and we act in a way that every person has inherent worth and dignity they don't have to prove themselves they just inherently are worthy and one of the ways i think that we should move forward in in creating more of that in our community is to directly talk to people that we have differences with instead of what i typically like to do is talk to other people about how i might talk to that person that kind of tri triangulation um, is not helpful and uh, so that's my wish in 10 years that we've gotten to that point hi i'm jim brown i've been a member of ouc for 10 years First of all, I wanted to say a few things that draw me to OUC. I really appreciate the sense of community here, that we help one another out when someone's in need, the sense of fellowship, that's very important to me. I've really appreciated the ministers we've had over the last 10 years, Arthur, then Emily, Thomas, Eric, and now Mary, who's a great addition to the church. I like that the church emphasizes social justice is involved in the greater Olympia community with such things as homelessness and um, justice. So as far as the future OC, one thing that would be good is we're working toward perhaps growing the congregation, making it more inclusive. Um, hope, so hopefully in the future we'll have a greater population of younger people keep the church going. And I see the church is still being involved very much in the community social issues. That seems to be a big part of the church. So I'm looking forward to seeing what OUC becomes in the future. Thank you. Greetings. My name is Margaret Knudsen, and I've been a member here for almost 50 years. And I think my hope for the future is what we found when we came here. There were older people who embraced our kids. There were other families with young children and so forth. And I think continuing have pro programs for children and having such wonderful role models of people involved in the community, all kinds of things. Uh, we came to Olympia with the new Department of Ecology and the people here already who were very interested in the environment and the social services and so forth. And I can see that continuing and my hope for the future that it will continue as it is. And uh, with just people so active in the greater good, whether it's homeless or people marginalized in society and so forth and, and just world peace. So thank you very much and I hope for the very best. Hi, I'm Reverend Mary Gear, and I'm in John Gear, and in 2022, I'm the settled minister for OUC, and we're making these videos as we prepare for installation at the end of my year three here, an installation that's been delayed three times because of the pandemic. And so my time here at OUC has been informed by a global crisis, as previous ministers have had their ministries defined by global crises and national crises. And um, so when I see for our future is wrestling with some of the things that have been laid bare during the pandemic, economic inequality, racism, and also what can happen when we come together to care for each other. And so my hope for OUC is that we can be a community that cares for each other and cares for our neighbors and those beyond our walls, and that we create a place of care and mutual support for whatever it is that comes, that we be nimble, that we let go of what we need to let go of and we embrace whatever might be coming and that we do that together. What she said. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being a supportive spouse. There you go. <laughs> uh, I'm Karen Landsberg. I use she, her pronouns. Um, one of the things that brought me to OUC was the community, the people. And I'm finding as I get more and more involved in that, that's 
um, what keeps me coming back and coming back. Um, as Melanie says, um, we come for the theology, we stay for the people in the community. Um, so for the future, um, I'm hoping that I can continue to be involved and find new ways to do that and contribute to this community. Um, that the community can continue to grow and support each other and support, support our broader community. Um, we still have a lot of challenges in the world and that we can do our part in helping nudge the world forward in a direction that is supportive for everyone. Hi, I'm Jenny Taylor and um, I've been part of this beloved community since uh, the September of 2001. It happened to be Arthur Bainey's first Sunday in the pulpit and uh, I came in and uh, I silently wept for about six weeks, <laughs> feeling that I had come home. I just um, uh, love this community with all my heart. And um, we've seen a lot of changes. Uh, we have seen our church grow, which I think is very, very exciting. And uh, amazing, even with the COVID shutdown, people have joined without ever having even been inside the building. And uh, that says something about how we reach into the community and uh, send our message of love and commitment and justice um, to the larger world. Um, I sing in the choir, which is a thrill for me. I sing in the Saturday morning voice class. so. Singing, gardening, and dark chocolate are my favorite things in the world. <laughs> and um, I just um, can't, I'm so grateful uh, for all my blessings and a lot of them come from this congregation. I pull up my warm blanket at night and I think about the people who don't have a blanket and sleep under a bush. And I am so grateful for my many, many blessings. Um, I'm just really thrilled to be here and to be among good, kind, generous, loving, fun to be with friends. I wish us all the very, very best. It's kind of hard to remember just exactly how I got started here, but um, one of my grandparents was Unitarian, but in a town that didn't have a congregation, and so she was Unitarian, but without a congregation. And my mother used to sort of joke that, well, Unitarians are kind of ancestor worshipers. Um, I have not found that to be the case here. I've driven up and down Division Street going to and from my house for almost 50 years. And um, this church was built and I had friends that went here and said, you should try it. And I thought, yeah, one day maybe. And then for unknown reasons about seven or eight years ago, I did try it and discovered all kinds of people that I already knew and that the, um, the, the fact that it's a non-credal organization, I wouldn't call it a faith, it's, it's a non-credal organization so I can bring what I've got and do my best and find peace and caring people. So it's really shaped my, my days for about seven years now. I'm grateful. Hi, I am Steve LeVacant. I am brand new to this institution, moved to this city in June, and I've been to about six Zoom meetings. I treasure them. I treasure all of you. I hardly ever come in the building because I am a COVID fanatic. And that's something that your time capsule needs to remember. It's COVID time. The, the people setting this up, kindly put a group of questions out there and one really struck me, which is what can all of you do to make my hopes and dreams? And I made notes on it. And these are the things you can do. Empower each other. Support each other, both in your strength and in your brokenness. Support each other. Listen to each other. Sing together, dance together, feed each other. That's what I want you to do. Hello, I'm Arlene Kolrick, 
and I've been a member since we came up from Southern California uh, in about, oh, 1991, 92. Um, some of my favorite memories of OUUC are uh, some of the big membership dinners and um, one story especially that our um, member who just passed, George Lanning, told. Um, he was telling that uh, as an engineer um, that there was more than one theory about um, electricity and that light bulbs were actually, rather than illuminating a dark area, they actually worked in reverse and they sucked the dark out of the room. So I still remember with fondness, uh, George's story about the dark suckers and um, talking with him uh, at coffee hour and asking him about his cribbage. And I knew uh, both uh, his wives from OUUC very well. In fact, um, when Helen was in the choir, um, I was helping her find her music at the very beginning of um, the onset of the illness that eventually took her. And um, George was like a second grandfather to my kids. And in fact, my middle daughter, Sarah, is coming down to attend uh, George's memorial next week. So, I have wonderful memories of the past of this congregation. And um, I remember all of the uh, difficulties. And as I forgave my mom years ago for doing the best she could with the tools she had, and at the time uh, that she was raising me, um, I think our mistakes belong in the past and that we ought to look forward to the future with hope and love and understanding. Thank you for letting me share. Hi, I'm Troy, Troy Fisher. Um, I'm the music director currently here at OUUC. And if I'm still the music director in 2032, oh my gosh, that'll be so long that I've been the music director. Seems impossible. Um, the thing that I hope that we bring from this time period to 2032 is the importance of music here. Um, and I hope it just keeps growing. Whoever takes over and whoever's singing, whoever's playing the guitars, playing the pianos, I hope that music, the cultural element of music and the spiritual element of music is a big part of worship and congregational life here at OUUC. It certainly is right now. It's a big part of the congregational life of the worship service. Um, I would say that um, a good 30, sometimes 40% of the worship service is music. And I think that's great. Yeah, and we have a wonderful choir. Um, and it's, it's the joy of my life. So I hope there's still a choir. It'd be interesting to see what's going on with the choir in 2032. Digital tablets, maybe implants on the eye. <laughs> Can get everyone to look up without having music in their hand. Yeah. Here's to 2032. Karen Jackson. Um, I joined the church in, I believe, 2001, right, right after 9-11 I started coming. And um, I think that this community's value of love and respect for all each other is what we need to carry forward. And we need to step up and volunteer more there's lots of volunteer opportunities and many hands make light work. And I hope I'm still here to see this in 10 years. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sally Brownfield and I've been a member of OUC really long, like since 1992. And um, OUC, it was very important to me because it um, especially uh, its acceptance of and recognition of all religions uh, because I have a multicultural family and uh, it was very supportive to me raising my kids. And um, I'm so happy to be a member even now because um, when I come here, I feel affirmed 
uh, my values are affirmed and I see other people here trying to live up to their values and it inspires me to try to live up to mine. And, um, and for the future, I'd like to see the religious education program uh, continue to improve, to become more robust, that there could be more kids here. And there have been way more kids here over the years compared to when I first started. So um, I just would like to see more of that emphasis so that there could, there could be more of us in the future. <laughs> and I think that's all that I have to say right now. Hi, I'm Anissa Benton Sani. I'm the OUUC Religious Education Assistant. And I'm answering some questions about the time capsule today. So why have I been a part of this church since I was born? Well, the people and the community want to build inclusion. They want to build um, and combat ignorance they and, and oppression. And that's always been an important aspect of why it feels good to be here. Um, I feel like one of the things that have helped me feel included um, or feeling um, like my, my capabilities are valued here um, is being able to work with the children and youth. Um, and really, actually, that they help me build more understanding and competency in this world. Um, and they challenge the preconceptions that I have as a person and as an older person than them. Wow. Hi there, my name is Jacob Jackson. I go by Jack. That's what everybody in church calls me. I joined this congregation in January of 2007. Um, the main reason I joined this church was the first time I ever came to visit, I was touched by how warm everybody was, how the greeting, the greeting was so genuine, and I never got that feeling from any other church or congregation that I attended. And the first person I met was Billy Williams, and she was impressive. She was a dynamo. I think she was in her 80s at that point. Uh, that's one of the things that impressed me so much about this congregation is how friendly and outgoing they were. Um, social justice was another thing that kept me coming back. I saw things that uh, other that other congregations were not attending to that this church attended to, and I think that that's vitally important. I think that it's vitally important to the future of this congregation. This congregation is a liberal religious community. It doesn't mean that we're liberal in our pol political beliefs, but uh, we try to practice what we preach. We attend to the, to the concerns of the, of the greater community, uh, interfaith connections, working with other religious communities to make the world a better place to be part of. And the thing that attended, that really uh, struck me after about four meetings here was our uh, music department. The music and, and, uh, and uh, of course the music director at the time, at this time is Troy. And he's, he's, uh, he's been a great influence on my life. Uh, I enjoy the music part of it. I enjoy the, the classes when we were able to, right now because of COVID, we've, our, our adult ed is kind of, uh, to me is kind of not gone away, but it's just not as active as it was. But I think that now that COVID is, has become less of a thing, hopefully the adult education will uh, come back and bring us more uh, interesting topics to discuss. Um, I also enjoyed very much uh, every minister that I'd had any any attention to. Uh, Arthur Vaney was the first minister that I that I was aware of in this congregation. And when he retired, we had uh, Emily Melcher and uh, Thomas Perchlick and then uh, Eric Poza 
And now we have, uh, I think, one of our, our best ministers, and that's Reverend Gear, Mary Gear. So uh, I think we need to pay attention and make sure that, uh, that we all, uh, I, don't, I don't know exactly how to put it, I just know that it's important that this congregation be a, a living part of this community that we have an outreach, that it's important for us to be involved with the politics that, of this county and this country and be involved with uh, uh, racial concerns in our community and in our country. So that's what I find and hope for the future, that we will be stronger then or stronger in the future than we are now. That's my hope for the future. Hello, I'm Martha Guilfoyle, and I've been with the OUUC um, Church for about 24 years. Um, it's been a joy to be here, and um, I would like to talk about the past and thank the people who have built this church and did so many, so many things to make this church what it is today. The present, we're in the midst of COVID or just coming out of it, and the church has been an anchor and a real life jacket, lifeboat amidst the sea of COVID. And it has been a joy to connect and see people. It's all of the hands that it took to create that connection, that online connection was a miracle. And I can't be thankful enough for that. And the future, I see a really bright future for OUUC. I know people are gonna be seeing this in 10 years. And I think that we're gonna be in a wonderful spot with lots of new membership and a thriving community and lots of joy and hope and love. And that's it. Hi, my name is Fritz Reedy. Uh, I've been a member of OUUC for uh, 30 years and um, first came from uh, the University Unitarian Church in Seattle uh, to OUUC when we moved to Olympia and we're looking for a church community in which to raise our son. And we found that with the Olympia Unitarian Universalist congregation. Um, we have been um, regular members and involved in many different levels of the church from the RE program and developing uh, Yule plays and Yule scripts and Yule scenery um, up through um, both my wife and I serving on the board uh, in various capacities. I have come to love this congregation and feel a central community here. Um, I think going forward, the church um, is continuing to evolve um, and I'm looking forward to a stronger community. Um, there are many remnants of um, stressful times that the congregation has been through and could be uh, moved past uh, by developing a deeper trust and a stronger sense of relationship uh, and a committed covenant in terms of behavioral activities. So I'm looking forward to the church um, getting larger and more involved with a number of social justice activities and deepening the spiritual focus of the interaction and the services. And I'm really appreciative of Reverend Mary as our new settled minister. She's not new now, but she's been a great uh, step forward for the congregation. And I think that's it. Hello, OUC of the future. 
My name is Sarah Lewis, and I am the Director of Community and Faith Development in 2022. I have previously been the Director of Religious Education. I began here in 2008, and so in my time in the congregation, I've watched um, our current high schoolers were babies when I started, so they have grown up and changed. And our current young adults, and including the young adult who works with our now high schoolers, were high schoolers when I began working here. So I have seen so much growth and change. And in the next 10 years, all I can imagine is that that is going to continue. People are going to continue to learn and grow and be influenced by one another in all the ways that we create a beloved community here that also helps transform lives and helps us grow as spiritual people. So. In the future, I am just looking forward to uh, more growth uh, and how new members and new folks will come in and change our community, because that's kind of a magical thing. Hi, I'm Darlene Sarkala. I started attending OUUC in the late 1980s, and I started working here as the church administrator in 1991. So I've seen a lot of what's happened at OUUC over the years. I've seen ministers come and go. I've seen church members come and go. I've seen programs come and go. But what's great about OUUC is how resilient we have been through all kinds of changes and just the, the value of this wonderful community and the interesting people and the great projects that we've done to help change the world and bring more love to the world. So when I'm talking to the people who might be seeing this in future years, I just say, remember your history. Uh, remember the people who have done the work to get us to where you are standing today. And just remember to be enthused uh, about your church and about Unitarian Universalism and our message for the world. Hello, people of the future. I'm Melanie Ransom, and I currently do a talk show here at church called After Church with Melanie Ransom. And at the beginning of every show, I do a little opening that really encapsulates what I think about this congregation. So I'm just gonna do that for you here. So this is what I say. Hello, beautiful yous, and welcome to After Church with Melanie Ransom. I'm Melanie, and I'm your host for the show. I've been a member of OUUC for 24 years, and in that time have made lifelong connections. I think that we join a church for the theology or the minister, but we stay because of the people, and that's what this show is all about. My name is Wendy Tanner, and just coming out of COVID here in 2022, hopefully, um, my hope for the congregation is that we learn new ways to expand our reach. Um, we certainly, with uh, having an online presence now, have been reaching people even out of state. And I really hope that we expand our presence, not just um, electronically, but also in our community, really opening our um, doors more for people of color, um, and uh, expanding our membership to a more diverse community. Hi there, my name is Curtis Tanner. I use he, him pronouns. Um, wow, I've been part of this uh, religious community now for over 20 years, so it's hard to imagine uh, where we might be in 10 years. My hope is that as our congregation grows, we remain open to what the community needs from us and what opportunities we have to um, diversify our service to the community, um, diversify the kinds of people that we serve. Um, my hope is that we continue to be a vibrant and a dynamic congregation that um, continues to explore its own possibilities and potentials and finds new ways to respond to those. Be well.